Hi everybody, Dan Ullman, Mike Beer of the DRF.com Formulator Race of the Day for Sunday, May the 28th, race number nine at Lone Star Park. It's the grade three Lone Star Park handicap. Let's take a peek at this field. Remember to head on over to the Race of the Day event page on DRF.com, download those free Formulator Pass performances and handicap along with us as we take this field in post position order. And Mike, the horse down on the inside is your morning line favorite, the number one Danzig candy. Bob Baffert has been virtually automatic throughout the years at Lone Star Park. Most recently, More Spirit won the Steve yeah. Sexton Mile, prepping for the Metropolitan Handicap. Dan's and Candy, big buyer last time out, could be loose on the lead. Yeah, all those all those things. Look, Tierney just might be the best horse as well. I think it, all those things add up, you know, just to making him, whether he wins or not, they just make him a legit favorite in this race. I mean, he's just from almost any angle you look at this race from, he's supposed to be really hard to beat. 105, buyer speed figure last time out, taking the measure of Accelerate. We'll get a measure of how Accelerate did on Saturday in the Grade 1 Gold Cup at Santa Anita. Here's the time form U.S. pace projector. We are not projecting a very fast pace in this slow field. Advantage Danzing Candy. He doesn't need a lot of advantages. No, he doesn't. He's got plenty of advantages already without the pace projector. I wonder if you're going to find a horse like Shotgun Cowboy who has a little bit of speed. Will he go out and try and press this horse? Because if he doesn't, I mean, it just might be schools out for this horse, but there's a chance that horse could go after him early. Trainer Steve Asmussen has two of the horses taking on Dan's and Candy in here. We'll begin with a long shot. That's the two Carouse, who was claimed for only $10,000 at Keeneland three starts back, and then rallied from off the pace to win for 18 last time out. Yeah. This is a tall order. I got a feeling maybe a hustle job. I got, yeah, I get the feel that's true. That might be true. I don't think the 79 that he earned for that win last time is going to get it done here. Now, Neck and Neck is a cool old horse. He's eight years old. He is a millionaire. He is a multiple graded stakes winner, but he hasn't won very often recently. I liked him last time out in that Sunland Park handicap. Yeah. They stretched him out to a mile and an eighth. I thought that was a good spot. He just couldn't get to the fast yeah. gate to wire winner, American Dubai. I think that's probably the best he can do right now, it's and a that's a long way from Dan's and Candy's best. Yeah, listen, he's eight years old now, and he's lost a step or seven or eight. I mean, this, he used to be a really good horse, and he's just not that horse anymore. We do have a positive formulator fact from Mr. Asmussen and Neck and Neck. Over the past year, with older dirt routers off a mini layoff and graded stakes, almost 30% and a $4.82 return on investment. You mentioned Shotgun Cowboy, who really couldn't get close to the lead last time. Yeah out in the Steve Sexton mile. His usual race, however, is like that Essex two back where he was on the lead. Yeah. And I would expect, I don't think they're going to go after Danzig Candy so early, but I think at least they'll be in closest attendance, and that could actually hurt the source. Yeah, I agree with that. I wonder what they'll do. I mean, I'd be... I think I'd be kind of surprised if they just said, well, let's just go all out here and, and try to go with Danzig Candy in the lead because there's just no way they're winning or probably getting anything in that scenario. So I just wonder if they'll just take up a position and, and try and get a check with him. In a lot of ways, he's the key to the race because I feel like if He's the only other horse with any real speed, and if he doesn't go, I mean, Dan's and Candy's just loose. Let's take a look at our top selections in here. You're going to go with Dan's and Candy. He is way the horse to beat. I think the other horse on the tote board, at least, yeah. is the number five, Texas Chrome. And Texas Chrome got really, really good last year for trainer J.R. Caldwell. A couple of graded stakes wins thrown to the Wolves in the Breeders' Cup Dirt yeah. Mile. I'm really not going to worry about that race. He was awful in his seasonal debut, the Oaklawn Handicap, and I was a little worried yeah. about that, although it was a tough spot it was. to make his four-year-old debut. Last time, a little bit better. He really had no chance against more spirit once that horse got loose on the lead, but Texas Chrome stayed on game lead yep. to finish second. It was certainly a progression. This is a horse that has always run well at Lone Star. He's got the home court advantage. I'm hoping the Shotgun Cowboy can maybe put some pressure on Dan's and Candy, because right. Texas Chrome, I think, sits that stalking three-wide trip. That's the only chance he has, I feel like, if, if, if somebody goes and pressures that other horse. I mean, he, he did what he tends to do last time. That's, I mean, he was game in that. He was just hard. not good. He's a real hard trier, you know. The question is, Dan's and Candy's got three triple digit buys. This horse has never run one. Is he going to run one on Sunday? Dan's and Candy, way the horse to beat for Bob Baffert. Mike's going that way. I'm going five and one in the Lone Star Park handicap, your formulator race of the day. If you're playing the Lone Star card, from home on Sunday, not only the Grade 3 Lone Star Park Handicap, we got a $25,000 guaranteed late pick for a sign-up for DRF Bets. You'll have access to a $300 bonus and lots more when you head over to drfbets.com slash VIP. Approximate post time for the Grade 3 Lone Star Park Handicap featuring Dan's and Candy, 640 Central Time. Good luck.